To the show, uh, we thank God you can view the show. Whether it, you're in your living room, your bedroom, your kitchen, uh, your bedroom, in anywhere uh, in your house, we're excited to bring you that ministry presents. I'm your host, Reverend Willie Williams Jr. Excited about the information you're going to receive. I always uh, uh, give a shout out to the Lord Night Ward, but since uh, the pandemic, we haven't been going down in that area, we're staying at home, uh, social distancing, and, and wearing our masks. But we want to uh, uh, re really acknowledge uh, the individuals got relatives down. There, uh, uh, Pastor uh, Duplessis, uh, uh, Pastor uh, 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 Johnson, and, and a whole lot of other pastors down in the Lord Night Ward uh, at, at their churches. We want to uh, not only congratulate them, but encourage them uh, to keep doing what they're doing and then spreading the word of God. Again, we're always excited. We're excited. Uh, I don't call him, um, uh, he has his finger on the pulse of what's taking place in the city, and, and then he has uh, uh, not only a national flavor, but he has a global flavor. Well, he used to have it. I don't know what he's doing since, <laughs> since, since, since the pandemic. Uh, he, he's probably doing the same thing that everybody else is doing and, and, and staying home and staying safe. And, and he comes in the person of D.K. Smith, uh, also known as Daryl Smith. Uh, Daryl K. Smith. He was the whole name. Daryl K. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He is a, a, a radio, uh, TV personality. He's a person that can tell you what's going on in New Orleans. Uh, Reverend Smith, what's going on? Well, first of all, thank you for that great introduction. Um, I still consider myself a quote-unquote public figure, so mm -hmm. that's that's part of it. And um, now, public figure, I say private man, because like you said, uh, keeping my distance, wearing my mask, um, home life is, is fine and everything, you know. So uh, thank God for the understanding of what we need to do. Because that's basically what it is. A lot of people have a misunderstanding mm -hmm. of things, you know. I was at a, um, uh, a, a business, I put it like that, and I remember seeing someone coming in there and they didn't have a mask. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and the person stopped them at the door and said, you need a mask and everything. And um, he proceeded to go on and... He had a fear in Yeah, well, well I, I, let me, let me, let me cut, cut to the chase and everything. He went in there to steal. Oh. I'm sorry to say that. I'm sorry. But, but he went, and he went in there without a mask. He went in there without a mask. He went in there, and he went in there, and he went to the section, whatever he was going to get and everything, and he walked out. And the people, the cashier says, that's the second time he did that, you know. I mean, I mean, it's desperate as much as it is and everything, but the part of it is the fact that they, rec they recognize him, really, they recognize, they recognize his face because he's been doing it. He's been doing but, it. But, you know, to be that, I won't say bold, but that... Blatant? Blatant, yeah. <laughs> to, to, to not wear a mask. And, and then wearing a mask is not an offense. I said this one, that time before when you weren't here for the show, that it's not a political thing. You know, my mask doesn't say what my political affiliation is, but that mask where it is for me and it's for you. It's, it's, it's for, for health reasons. It's for health reasons health and reasons. everything. And mm -hmm. so if we adhere to what the scientists and the doctors say and that they, know, they know what they're doing, then we, you know, we're still here. You know, I hate to say it, but there's some people who just, you know, laugh it off and now they're sick or not you know, dead. You know, by saying, I said, I don't, I'm not the original version of this, but the saying is six feet apart or six feet under. Well, it, here's a question to you, and, and I, I know you're old enough and you're young enough. Well, thank you for the birthdays. Yeah, happy, the birth birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> but but you, you, you're old enough and you're young enough to, to remember when we were uh, in, in, in uh, um, elementary, mm -hmm. junior high, high school, there was a TB test. I was gonna say, is that the, was that was that the one with the sugar? No, no, they give you a shot. Oh, I'm tuberculosis. Which one, which one was the sugar? They gave me the sugar cube. 
I don't know. I ain't getting no sugar cookie. All they did was, was give you a little, I remember the it, it it left a little mark on, on, yeah. on your home and stuff. Life but guess life. what? That, that, that was a good thing. You know why? That means you didn't have tuberculosis. Mm -hmm. Because here's the other thing. It's, it's, it's communal. It spreads. Mm -hmm. you, you're in the classroom f uh, full of uh, other kids, and you coughing, and everybody say, you, you know, you don't have to die with, with, with TB. But people were dying because they didn't have a cure at mm -hmm. one time. They got a cure. Yeah. And, and, and can I tell you, prevention is better than what's that other thing you, you, you offer as a solution? <laughs> Six oh, yeah. feet. Yeah, <laughs> six feet point or six feet under. Yeah. Well, well, you know, that brings on another topic, but same thing. Now, we know that um, not just the United States, but the world was uh, blessed by this um, uh, vaccine, vaccine and yeah, everything yeah, yeah, that yeah, came yeah. out and all like that. Uh, for the general public, you got to wait a little while, you know, you got to wait. But what do you think, and this is giving your personal opinion, so not to sound so personal to you, but, you know, um, for, not talking about the the, the, the COVID vaccine, but um, even now with the flu, there are flu shots that's been available um, prior to this broadcast, because this broadcast will be over, but um, a couple of weeks ago they had it at the church on Jeff Davis and um, Canal Street, yeah. and on Saturday they have it Joe, yeah, yeah, and on yeah. Saturday they have it at Joe Brown Park, right. 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., free flu shots and everything. So do you think that's a good thing? Of course it is. Okay, I'm just asking. Of course it is. Uh, uh, um, you, you, at a certain age, and even uh, uh, more vulnerable uh, individuals, uh, 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 children, and and seniors, mm -hmm. and and uh, you can die from the flu, mm -hmm. and so uh, to get the shot. That 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 is really not the flu. Is is a serum that would act, you know you, you may get symptoms of it, but you won't get the flu. Mm -hmm. Same same token when you when we talk about the virus uh, for coronavirus, you're not getting the virus, and that's what a lot of people are, are, are not aware. Of. They think that they're shooting the virus in you, and and that's why you know and and, and look. Historically, um, in the African American community, uh, there have been some mistreatment and abuse mm -hmm. of, of African Americans in, in, in uh, different uh, health studies and, and disparities. And um, yes, people can be somewhat uh, um, uh, distrustful of, of, of the medical system because of the way the medical system has treated historically uh, mm -hmm. African Americans in the community and, and some everybody uh, know about the Tuskegee uh, I was thinking everybody, about that, yeah. everybody know about that and familiar with it and, and it, it was an awful thing to do and so that's that's the, the thing that, that, that a lot of people that are asking the questions now uh, that the vaccine is out when it's available uh, to the public uh, will you be uh, willing to take it and a lot of people say I, I, I'm not going to take it I'm not going to take it because of historically what has happened in, in the past I, I don't I don't trust the uh, uh, the, the, the medical, uh, uh, you know, the medical department uh, in, in, in our communities, and um, I, I think what's going to help us uh, that that uh, to individuals to get the vaccine is is seeing black doctors, uh, 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 professional people, uh, 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 athletes, uh, actors, uh, famous people, when they do it then it, 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 it somewhat gives you more confidence and it shows you that it, it's, it's the right thing to do. You know, it's the safe thing to do. That brings on an interesting topic or subject as well because, okay, vaccine is out and another one's on the way. Um, the uh, Moderna um, study as well as the uh, Pfizer uh, vaccine. But it's not really going to be worth it until the majority of, like, say, for instance, 75% of Americans have been vaccinated. Because if not, we might as well still keep the mask on, still keep the distance. Well, we, we, sh we should do that uh, uh, anyway. This is true. I'm not, I'm not knocking that. But what I'm saying is not until a certain majority, a certain percentage of the population, population yes. has been vaccinated, whereby we could sort of say now it's safe. But up until that time, if nobody really goes out and get the vaccine and get the vaccination and everything and you're making that line a little lower than what it's supposed to be for it to be like you know most or less like polio and all those other things that came out uh, those diseases those uh, um, that, that came about so um, I was talking to somebody um, 
the other day and it was brought up leprosy, you know, even though that's something that's... It's cured now. It's cured now and everything. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and so it was like all these, you know, diphtheria and COVID, whatever like that. Well, well look, we, we, we have to really experience some things and thank God that God puts it in the scientists' minds that they... And, and look, I, I, I can tell you that uh, this, um, this disease is, is something that was already in somewhat uh, of existence. The SARS disease, uh, a virus was already there, so that's why they mm. could, they could uh, readily, they already had a mm. basis of it. So it's not like it's, it's something new. It was out there, and, and, and the, the thing about it, it's always mutating. Uh, diseases, uh, uh, viruses mutate, you know, and so uh, they're, they're, they're finding out um, constant study, constant study on, on things, uh, bacteria that affect you. You, you, you do know that, that there's bacteria in, in your body today mm -hmm. that fight out uh, 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 antibodies that, that will want to get into your system and, and cause problems in your system. And, and so they're, they're constantly, that's the good thing about it, constantly uh, 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 studying and, 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 and uh, I don't want to say uh, uh, invite, inventing uh, new, new, new cures to, to, to more problems, but constantly studying what if, and, and, and here's a solution to what if, what if, and, 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 and every day, you know, you know as, as uh, uh, religious uh, individuals, we, we know that, that uh, just in the biblical sense, uh, that there was a question uh, that the uh, Pharisees asked to Jesus and said, Jesus, you, you, you let your disciples hang out with you, man, and they don't even wash their hands. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, at this time, you know, it, you could wash your hand with soap and water yes, on, on a regular basis. And Jesus explained to him, it's, it's not what, what goes in, but what comes out of the individual. And, 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 and so he was saying to them, y'all concerned about the, the, the appearance of instead of what really that person is thinking about or what that uh, person is concentrating on. So yeah. we, we, we're blessed that we have people constantly going to the next level to say, this may come next, this may come next. And so how do we combat? And, and, and thank, thank God that, that uh, uh, we have an answer. When, when, when we didn't know, you know, mm -hmm. That, that contributed to the spread. Uh, right. um, uh, I, I think some people may be saying, well, uh, did, did we know that it was an airborne uh, a virus? Um, not immediately. No, uh -huh. not, not immediately, you know. That, 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 and, and so it affects us in, 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 in our uh, churches because uh, 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 they, they were finding out after uh, different worship services, they were finding it out uh, after uh, uh, funerals uh, that, that people were getting infected mm. and they were wondering how. It was airborne. Yeah. Now, you know what? Since you said that, I was mentioning before how the new, the new normal, as things are and everything, how, you know, at the churches, uh, funeral homes, because I haven't been to a funeral at a church in a while, but at a funeral home, uh, a friend of mine died, and he made the announcement, you know, as you proceed out and everything, you know, pray for the family, and there will be no repairs because of COVID, you know, and so, uh, not to say that that's what people go to funerals for, <laughs> the repairs, you know, it's like, yeah, I know oh some guys man, the some good old fried chicken, yes, you know, and people, the rabies and rice, rabies and rice yeah. yeah, but not to say about the, um, the repairs, but the idea that that has changed, and I mentioned this because I said mentioned it before that you know you won't find buffets open anymore, like talking about you know because you're using the same. I touched the utensil. Wait a minute, I got to touch the utensil behind you because not only is it airborne, but contact, touch, and everything. You know, when we come into the studio, I'm sharing some things. You know, we we're not just the studio, but any place you go, if you everything you pen, yeah. you, you, There's a place to take the clean pen, and then there's a place to put the dirty pen. When we went to go vote, <clears throat> they gave us pens that were sanitized, you know, and everything. So I've always, I've always wondered why I couldn't use my own pen. But anyway, they gave you a pen. You know, I have my own pen. I have my own pen. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. But but just the idea that they, you know you have to. They, they they do they do give you that option. You can use your own pen. If you okay, want. Yeah. good to know. Yeah. You just you just didn't, you just <laughs> want to use their pen and stuff. Right. Like that. But but the point of it is, you know. That's what it's for. And so that's part of the, the new normal. Like I said, not only is it airborne, but it's contact also. Contact 
that's there with you touching everything. So we just have to be aware, be cautious, and just.